Hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher! We are here on the Far Far Away Range where we are getting ready to do some awesome adventuring today. So today we are going to be setting off into the Far Far Away area so that we can try to look at the last area that I think is currently open in this version of the Early Access game that you guys have been telling me about. There's supposedly a little cave and there's some angry slimes that if we toss some food at I'm pretty sure they'll calm down and supposedly if we look around we'll be able to see um, see a really interesting Largo. Also, look at the sunrise. That is just so cool. You know what I just noticed? If the sun is rising like this, then why don't our rooster roos crow? Hmm. These are questions to ponder. Questions to ponder indeed. And actually, we have just come up with a new challenge that we are going to give ourselves to fill this with all sorts of amazing plorts. So I thought at first it was just going to be the pink plorts, but now I'm beginning to wonder if I should take like all my plorts and just see if we can fill a corral to the brim with plorts. So not just... In fact, let's do some high walls. I need some. I need to sell some plorts in order to get the high walls first. But not just the pink plorts. What if we just filled this to the brim with like all of our different plorts? I think that would be like a really hilarious way to show off our wealth and our abundance. So I think that we might try that. I, I think it would be fun to do it with just like one type of port. But what, is, what does it look like if we start mixing in more? I think it would be fun to mix in more. All right, so let's see what's selling the most today. Either the phosphor plorts or the stone plorts. Um, oh, darn, they're all just at their boring reset prices. So they're both selling for the same amount. So we'll gather up what we can of those and then we're gonna just start <laughs> flaunting our wealth by filling one of the corrals to the brim with all sorts of plorts because I think that would be absolutely amazing. It just seemed like a fun little challenge to give ourselves. As I keep reminding you guys, the reason we don't do daily slime rancher, even though I'm adorable with these guys and want to eat some delicious Annie's uh, gummy bunnies, which are awesome. They're also vegan, which is why I can eat them because they're so yummy. Oh my goodness, I love them. But I love the Annie's gummy bunnies and every time I eat them as a snack, I think about slime rancher <laughs> and I would love to play more slime rancher it's just i don't want to wear the game out when there's going to be new slimes and new areas coming out soon it's going to be awesome all right so let's go ahead and sell these so that we can get a little bit of money and be able to buy the things we need there's also several upgrades that i hadn't noticed that are available at the market that we'll probably be spending our good coin on all right let's go ahead and sell all of it all of it Maybe we'll even check out what's over on the exchange really quickly to see if there's anything pretty decent for sale over there. All right, let's go check what the exchange wants. Oh, it's just Bob wanting the chickens again. Well, he's just gonna have to wait. All right, and we'll wait to purchase stuff until we get the high walls. And do we want, I think I want an air net to prevent something from jumping in it. Um, okay, I'm gonna get an air net too. All right, and there we go, you guys. So this is gonna be our vanity um, corral. And the whole point of this corral is not to fill it with different slimes, but to just fill it to the brim with different plorts. Because it's really fun to sell the plorts, and it's kind of fun to have the silo to store the plorts. But I think that this is a more effective way. Whoops, that's a chicken, not a plort. <laughs> I think this is a more effective way to store these. All right. Oh, look at them glow. This is gonna be so cool when they're all mixed in here together, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Look at that. This is gonna be so cool. This is like one of the best ideas I've had yet. All right, let's keep going. See, and you can only store so many things in the silo. So this is much more fun. We can take down the big silo that we've been building, or maybe we should just take down like the silo and build a corral and fill it to the brim with food. Fill it to the brim with the different plants. Oh, that's an awesome idea too. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so fun. This is gonna be so fun. Oh, this is exciting. And who knows if this will even be possible when the game's out of alpha. This feels like something that won't be possible later. That's only possible right now because the plorts will start disappearing or maybe they'll start having like random tars show up as uh, as time goes on and then you have to worry about tars breaking into your corrals or food will go bad. I think food actually does go bad if it's left out long enough, but I'm not sure. All right, let's fill this up with rock plorts. We're gonna scatter them in here real good. Why is this so awesomely fun? I don't know, but it is. 
You know what would be really cool? If you could get an upgrade that could like increase the speed of how quickly you are able to get the floors. Also, I love, love, love you guys coming up with all of those awesome original slime ideas. That is just so much fun. The drawings you guys are sending in are so amazing. Oh my goodness, so keep it up you guys, keep it up. And remember, if you are really, really, really deeply into Slime Rancher and it is just like the game of the year for you, which I'll be honest, there's a lot of games coming out this year, but I feel like Slime Rancher is already like a, an A plus winner in its own category for me. And oh my goodness, I love this port idea. This is gonna be the most fun ever. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so awesome. I can't wait to gather up ports from all of our slimes and shove them in there. This is gonna be so cool. And this is already like 300 ports or something like that that we've tossed in there. All right, let's keep going. All right, there we go. There, and now for once I can actually empty all of my Largo ports. Oh my gosh. And I was wondering if we should perhaps exchange what type of Largo we have over there. So maybe we'll start doing a voting. Like we'll leave a certain type of Largo in every week and then you guys can vote on a new type. So yeah, I might do that. I might do that. I might just see if the YouTube uh, poll thing pops up. At the end of this video, I'll leave like a little poll. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, like if you don't see a poll, look in the video description and there'll be a little like straw poll. And we can vote on like what the favorite Largo type, the mix type is of the group right now. And then we'll put in a new Largo and we will release these little guys and I thought about this carefully, but we will gently carry them all over here and release them into the slime ocean. And that sounds horrific until you remember the Slimepedia telling us that the slime sea that covers most of the far, far range is something of a mystery. It seems to be a mixture of water and slime, and it's believed to be the primordial pool where all slimes emerged. So the thing is, none of the slimes um, don't, let's see, in fact, if I find it, do 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 do. Uh, it's not fit for drinking. And when a slime enters the sea, uh, it quickly vanishes, but it is widely believed that this is far from the end of a slime's existence. For slimes that enter the sea can often be seen quickly returning back on land, happy as ever. In fact, many slime scientists believe that the slimes use the sea as a means of transportation, moving swiftly below the surface and popping out on land where they see fit. So when it's time to release our Largos, I'm just gonna carry them over here and like set them free into the sea, because as long as they're not a tar, they will be just fine. So that's the plan for the Largos. Oh my goodness. I just want to like hoard all of the plorts now. This is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen and it's going to be amazing. All right, well, really quickly, I want to go in and let's gather up some boom plorts. Oh, and I need to check on my little puddle slimes. Oh, are they going to be okay? I think I need to get them more water. What are you doing out? No, no little boom plorts. <gasps> loose boom plorts, loose boom plorts. Come here, you. No, must hurry. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. None of that near my boom, my babies. Are they okay? I count, I'm only counting six of you. Wait, I need to count again, there's seven, okay. <gasps> ah, that worries me so when they do that. All right, oh, there's another one. Okay, we may need to set some of these boom slimes free, actually. Is that another one? No, I think that's just his trail where he managed to get out somehow. All right, these guys have plenty of chickens. Where, oh, I thought I had more boom largos than that. Apparently not. All right, so we may, we may release some boom slimes today to the slime sea so that they don't threaten my poor little baby, um, chunk. There you go. And so they don't threaten my poor little, my poor little itty bitty puddle slimes because I am exceptionally attached to my puddle slimes. All right, there you go, little ones. There you go, very gently now. All right, there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna make sure there's plenty of water. Water has to stay in here. There we go. That's a lot of puddle ports too. All right, gently, gently. Okay, very gently. Mm hmm Okay, good, and there we go. All right, so my puddle ports are okay. They're like my dainty little orchids, my delicate little orchids. You have to watch out for them. All right, I got this up. Um, Let's see, can I gather up more of your, your little booms? All right, we'll gather up more boom ports really quickly. Ow. <laughs> And more of the rock ports really quickly. Uh, do these guys eat? I can't remember if they eat vegetables. I'm pretty sure they eat vegetables actually. So I'll leave these carrots with them because I'm sure they'd appreciate the carrots. I'm pretty sure they eat carrots. Yeah, somebody just ate the carrot. All right, so we'll leave all those extra carrots I picked up while I was uh, cleaning up last night. This chicken, this stony hen appears to have escaped. All right, there we go. And let's gather up all of the boom forts. Well, we can't take all of them due to storage constraints. 
I can take a good chunk of them. And now the puddle ports are the only port that we wouldn't be able to drop in and like crow over our giant port pile, unfortunately. We can add the boom ports, but the puddle ports will evaporate. All right, so in you guys go. Be added in, my little boom ports. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is how Scrooge McDuck feels. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Scrooge McDuck feels, diving into his money pit. I understand now. I'm surrounded by my pretty, pretty little gems. Brilliance. Brilliance. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I could just add to that all day. All right, let's gently take my little puddle plorts, and we're going to safely store them right here. All right, there you go, little puddle plorts. And you know, if the crops didn't evaporate, I would do the same thing just for looks with the corral. Like, fill, fill a corral up with all sorts of just the crops. Look at this. It's already, like, so full. This is amazing. We are flaunting our wealth. But, all right. We have flaunted enough wealth. We have looked at enough things. Let's go ahead. We're going to get a move on. Um, And let's make sure. Okay, got to get that guy. Get this tree growing again real quick. In fact, I wonder if I should go get... I'm going to go get one of the little mint guys. Because I want to actually grow another one of the minty mangoes. All right, how you guys doing? Hello, everyone. Oh, we have some hungry faces in here. What are you guys doing? You want some cuberries? Oh gosh, I think they wanted some cuberries. All right, so that's happening. And let's go ahead, come over here. Minty mangoes. See, see, the fruits do seem to go bad after a while, so I'm gonna have to remember that. All right, come here, minty mango. The minty mangoes do not like to uh, grow very quickly. Is there anything else I can add? No, just a scare slime. So let's go ahead and add this minty mango. Hello, little ones. Oh gosh, leaving so many plorts everywhere. But let's go ahead and add the minty mango over to, um, oh gosh, okay, hang on. Carrot over there. And then let's gather up all of these hen hens because I have some very, very hungry <laughs> tabby slimes. And the hen hens pop up pretty regularly. Hey. Come here, little hen hens. I know. I know it's not the nicest fate in the world, but there we go. And I think we have an overabundance of tabby ports. Yep, this tabby port. We're going to have a, a backup of tabby ports. It'd be kind of interesting if, if your tabby port thing was too full, or your tabby port thing. If your port collector was like too full, if it could like explode <laughs> and you just come back and there's just ports like everywhere there's just ports flying in the air there's ports all over your yard that's what happens with farm machinery if you just like turn your back on it all right so we've got the minty mango i'm gonna go ahead and plunk it right over there so it can get harvested in. i'll go ahead and give these guys a big treat in case anybody wants to eat that and then now we can add our honey plorts and our tabby plorts all right let's see there we go Look at our money. Look at all of it. This is fantastic. Ah, and then the upgrades. All right, and then we'll go buy the upgrades and then we will head out of here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and glorious and glowing and there's so much of it. <laughs> Look at all of it. Look at our wealth. It's fantastic. I really, like, you can't even see the little pink, um, the little pink ports that started this all. Fantastic. I can't wait to fill that up. All right, let's come over here, buy our upgrades. Do, 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 do. All right, there's air drive, enhanced jetpack thrusters that consume 20% less energy, but produce double the fun. The heart modules, the power core, so we get a little bit more energy, and the tank booster. Wait, what? What? We can hold more stuff? Okay, we've got to get the tank booster, and I need more money to do that. So let's tap in. See, that's the, the positive thing about this. We can just be like, we need funds! And you can just like run in here. And now we have like a ton of money, just like that. And then you just walk back out and sell whatever you come out with. <laughs> it's brilliant, I love it. All right, we're just gonna chuck all of this over here. And then we'll just constantly refill it. We're like those ranchers who live with all their money under their bed instead of actually putting it in the bank. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel like right now. Oh my goodness, this is awesome though. All right, let's go ahead and sell all 
those. Perfect. Wonderful. You know what would be a really fun challenge? To try to like fill up your corrals or spin things, but you can only do it with like wild. Like you could have tons of, of gardens and you can have tons of like uh, hen hen coops, but to only like do all of your farming from wild, like free range slimes. Organic free-range slime plorts. I see how it is. I see how it is. That would be amazing. A good challenge. All right, let's see. Get in the tank booster so we can actually be able to have bigger packs. I feel so silly that I didn't know that was a thing. And then we're going to get a better air drive. And can I afford the power core? Let's go ahead and get a little bit more in, in the port department. Oh my gosh, that goes so fast. That's so much faster than having to just suck them out of the silo. So this is actually, weirdly enough, a more efficient way of working too, you guys. All right, so let's do this. And do, 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 If only I could sell the plorts as quickly as I could pick them up. That would be a lot easier. All right, there we go. And there we go. All right. All right, let's come down. And we probably have enough money to afford both things. All right, power core and heart module. Boom, and now we are broke and that is a-okay. All right, so I know there's some angry slimes that kind of guard the little area that we're headed over to. Um, I have heard that the more dangerous slimes come out at night, but I'm ready for a night adventure, so let's do this. All right, there's a whole bunch of phosphor slimes. We need, ah, here's some food. I'm gonna try to gather up some hen hens and some other food stuffs if the slimes don't eat all of it. Um, which they're kind of eating all of it right now, so that makes it a little tricky. Wait, hen hens? Oh, I think there was a hen hen. There is no longer a hen hen. <laughs> and oh, that was so cool. It looks like a shooting star. Make some wishes, you guys. I know that's just the wind, but it just looks like a shooting star and that makes it really exciting. All right, so let, we're just gonna run through here. Unless I can like snag a hen hen. Come here, quick. I right, quick, 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 hen hen. All right, quick. Hit more hen hens. All right, hen hen. All right, good. And then I'm gonna get rid of these guys. And we're gonna keep moving. And then here we go. So this is gonna be our little avenue of adventure, apparently. And apparently, there's something down here. And if we take a. Okay, these are. They just want food. And then they'll be less angry. All right. And if we go somewhere, ow! Gotta avoid rock slimes. Okay, calm down. Hey, you! Eat, eat! Hold this! Eat! Don't be mad. Eat! Oh, there's so many of them. I didn't anticipate such anger. They just want to eat me. All right. There's a bunch of stony hen hens to try to help me with my plate here. To me, stony hen hens. Stony chick. I wish you luck. And then apparently there's supposed to be somebody somewhere, but I don't know about that because we've explored over here before. And some of you guys were like, Siri, Siri, go over there and you'll find like a Largo that you would have never seen. Um, is it over here? Like we get up here? No, because this is just this spot. So I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look around. Can I go up a little higher? Apparently. Wow, this is cool. But I think we're just up on the flat top areas now. Um, can we go past the construction area? Is that what people are talking about? I don't think so. But that's kind of the thing is that there's not too many places to explore just yet. But that doesn't mean to despair because there will be more stuff to be able to be done uh, as time goes on. But for now, I'm actually super excited about seeing what is your favorite Largo. So we can try out a new Largo in our area. And I'm actually going to come along and try to gather up a whole bunch of these plorts. Because now we have a new project when it comes to plorts. And I'm actually having a great time with it. There's a hen hen. All right, come here, plorts. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're trying to do our, our, our piece. You know, picking up all the plorts is one of the ways that we try to make the world a little bit of a better place. And now we can have up to 50 plorts at a time. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. All right, let's come up here. Whoop. All right, come here, buddy. Boom. All right, there we go. But yeah, I can actually see how the tar slimes might, like, keep balance. So... I'll get rid of them when we come across them, but I'm not gonna like go out of my way forever and ever about it. All right, come here, you. Oh, you just need a little baby. Rude. Pew. 
That was a pretty good toss, actually. All right, this area, this area is kind of doomed, you guys. Let's gather up what we can and skedaddle. Let's get out of here. And then it'll be fun, yeah, to see what you guys vote on as your favorite slime, because it's fun to see that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's ports everywhere. There's just pink ports everywhere. Oh my goodness gracious. This place is just covered. Look at this, look at this, look at all of this. This is just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I actually think that there is an emergency return. I don't have to go ahead and keep doing this. I think if I go here, um, oh, you have to knock yourself out? No, thank you. I don't want to knock myself out. But I saw that last time and I was like, oh, maybe that's a faster way to get home. That's what the teleporters are for. That's what the teleporters are for. But all right, so I'm going to release my ports and fill up my little corral and cross my fingers that never shall the day come when a slime shall manage to wiggle in here because if, if that's the case, we're gonna have a tar and it's gonna be absolutely chaotically messy. But I just think this is so much fun. I mean, look at this. Like I said, I know how Scrooge McDuck feels now. Look at all your wealth. It's just all piled up and it's just gonna get better and better and that's so cool. Ah, all right, and we got some pretty cool upgrades. So thank you so much, you guys. So that is pretty awesome. We're gonna figure out a new Largo to kind of feature in our main area, and we'll have to figure out what other challenges we can give ourselves here in Slime Rancher. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.